Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss how to create a trigger on a table. I will go over how to add a trigger that affects a single column and how to add a trigger that affects multiple columns. A trigger is a stored procedure that executes in response to either an insert, an update, or a delete statement. Triggers are most often used to track changes made to tables, to modify columns, and to provide security. Now triggers are connected to individual tables and you can define either single or multiple triggers on a single table. Now to create a trigger you'll need to specify conditions in which the trigger must be executed and the actions that the trigger must carry out. For our first query we're going to create a trigger that capitalizes the state whenever a new record is added to the customer table. So we'll use the create trigger keywords and then we'll give our trigger a name. Capitalize state is the name. And then this trigger is going to be performed on the customer table. So we use the on keyword and then we put the name of the table that the trigger is going to be on, which is customer. And then this particular trigger is going to happen whenever there's an insert or an update to the customer table. So that's the condition of our trigger. Whenever the customer table is, has a new insert or is updated at all, then the action that will be completed is that whenever the state is entered, it will be automatically uppercased. So our action is as, use the as keyword, update the customer table, use the set keyword for the state column. And then the upper function is used and we use the state column again within the upper function. So this means whenever there's an insert or an update, and in this case we're going to insert a new record to the customer table, the state will be automatically updated. So we click execute and it says our command has been completed successfully. So now we're going to test our trigger by inserting a new record into the customer table. And as you can see, the insert and two keywords are used and then the name of the table and all the column names are at the top and then the values keyword and then all the values are enclosed at the bottom. So we have customer ID 14, the first name's Jacob, we have Jacob Rivers, his phone number, address, and then we have the state for the state column. And we automatically put in a lowercase g and a lowercase a. And then we have Atlanta and the postal code. So we're going to click execute on this. and it says the command was completed successfully. So now we're going to open up the table and see if our record went in with the state capitalized. So we have select all the records from the customer table. Click execute. And as we can see this is Jacob Rivers, the phone number, the address, and although we put GA as lowercase the trigger ensured that it went in uppercase. So you have an uppercase G and A. For our next table, we're going to create a trigger that affects multiple columns in one table. So this one, we're going to call it capitalize the state and the address. So we use create trigger keywords, the name of the trigger. And this trigger is going to affect the customer table. So we use the on keyword. And this is for any time there's an insert or an update to the customer table. And then we use as for our action. And our action will be to update the customer table and set the state to uppercase. So we have state inside of upper. And then this, in this case, we want to put the address also in uppercase. So we use a comma after our first specification for the state and then we use address and then use address again within the upper function and this will cause the um, trigger to ensure that the state and the address are all in uppercase. So we hit execute. It says the command was completed successfully. Now we're going to test our trigger by entering a new record with the state and the address in lowercase. So here we have customer ID 15. 
Linda Peterson, her phone number, and her address here is in all lowercase, the T and the H and the Avenue and the S for South. And also we have the state also in lowercase. So we're going to click execute on this insert statement. Complete it successfully. And now what we're going to do is open up the customer table and ensure that the address and the state are uppercase. So select all the records from the customer table. We click execute. And as you can see on the new record, the address is in all caps. And in fact, all the other addresses are now all caps. And the state is all caps. So this ensures that whenever there's a state entered or there's an address, it'll be in all caps for the state and the address. I hope that you enjoyed learning about triggers today. If you'd like more in-depth learning, please check out my SQL course in the description section below.